All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Sacred Tarot by Nicole. Super excited to have you here today for something a little different. So it is urgent messages from your spirit guides, but I'm going to do this based on your astrological sign. So I'm gonna start with Aries. Don't forget to look at the timestamp below because I will show you what sign is being read at what time. So it's gonna be based off your astro astrological sign and I will be shuffling and pulling cards. So they're gonna be urgent messages from your spirit guides. All right, let's begin to see your urgent messages. All right, Aries, let's see what we have for you. The Temperance. Now the temperance is all about moderation. Now I know that's a little hard for Aries because Aries can be very like just love to take in life, like indulge. So right now, moderation is very important. Temperance is all about making sure you moderate your thoughts, you control maybe some impulses that you have, especially I know that can be very, very, <laughs> again, difficult for Aries. It's almost like you're in a situation where you know it's not right, but like, you know, you want to moderate maybe those indulgences that you have and you're really trying to weigh the pros and cons and you might even be making lists right now of pros and cons. And the King of Swords, uh, and again, that's another one to look at. He looks at logic and facts. He looks at the facts and the logic in your situation. And right now it's good to look at Again, weighing the pros and cons. The king is all about being logical and, and looking at the facts. So even in this card here, he's looking in a book right now and like writing lists. He's writing lists, pros and cons. Now I'm going to do some pulls here from my oracle cards. Attachment, letting go, a restriction, and fear. I feel like this may even be a relationship situation. Like you could be attached to someone, maybe you had a recent breakup, or someone is still on your mind, and right now, so letting go of that restriction, and maybe you're not able to move on. Maybe you're not able to find find another loving relationship because you're still hanging on to the past. And moderation, that could also be uh, linked to, because Aries can... Can definitely be really what's the word flirt uh, flirty they can they love to flirt and they love to have the attention uh, put on them they, they like to be like center of attention and it's not a bad thing it's just it their areas tend to be a little more extroverted and right now it's if you're attached to somebody or something you got to let go to because you could be holding on to it. You could really be holding on to this attachment and and it's telling you that you have this amazing personality. You are the one that is, you know, flirty and and loves to like get people together and and obviously it's a little hard right now, especially for the social areas because obviously with social distancing and and possibility of another lockdown coming, they keep on talking about it, but this is a time for you to make sure that you're you're not holding yourself back, but at the same time, moderation. So staying grounded. And here we have Work Your Light Oracle Cards. Let's see what the Work Your Light Oracle Cards say. Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? change now that's interesting because the temperance tells you to moderate king of swords is telling you to look at the logic and the facts and then but there's an attachment that you're not letting go of so the restriction that you put on yourself and this card is telling here you to get back into alignment with who you really are and love your qualities like if you feel i there's almost like a jealousy <sighs> feeling coming over me so your your spirit messages are telling you attachments it could have been someone that you really love but like could have felt like really jealous feelings um because you are maybe like a popular person or, or you like to like have a lot of friends but that person already knew that about you and needs to accept that about you and if it's if it's not something that aligns with them 
it's going to throw you off of alignment. So it's not fair to you. So align your life, what needs to change, and what's just not working. And it's something that you may have to look within and let go. Okay, messages from the mermaids, our last one here. Let's give a really good, some messages here from Spirit. Let's see what comes through. Okay. Re-energize. This is time for you to take some time for yourself. I want to leave it at that. Re-energize. Go within. Look at what your attachments are. What, what needs alignment. And make sure you stay with you know, in, in moderation, the temperance is, is telling you to really stay focused on maybe not giving in to like any kind of destructive behavior. It's very important right now. All right. Thank you, Aries. Uh, that is your urgent messages coming from spirit. So thank you so much for tuning in. Now, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Hello, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. So these are your messages from your spirit guides, your urgent messages. So the Knight of Cups reversed. I have a feeling like either you're being overly emotional or someone in your life is being overly emotional and maybe possibly even jealous. There's, there's someone in there in your life that is just you're not in alignment with right now. They're either jealous of you or envy you or you're envy, envying them and it's just something's really out of alignment there. And I'm, I don't even know if it's a direct partner because I feel like it might even be a friendship right now that is just your there's there's something going on there that's just not working okay let's see another message here so the five of wands actually that coming up makes a lot of sense there's competition and rivalry there's a friend i feel like it's a friend or a family member it could be your partner too that you're just fighting there's a lot of fights there's a lot of battles right now five of wands is all about uh, competition and rivalry it's it's just very very clear here what that message is it's something that you're really focused on right now and it's it's almost taking up too much of your time and you almost have to either mend the situation like try and fix the not fix but try and, and work through the situation with that person or cut them off completely it's something that is really upsetting you and it's time for you to to look at that and understand that it's stressing you out. It's putting a lot of stress on you, Taurus. Okay, more messages here. Oh, this one just flew right out. There's actually two here, so I'm going to read two of them. Purification with water, emotional cleansing and rejuvenation. You need time away from this person. You need time away from this person in this situation. You need time to think and focus on yourself right now. You're getting too caught up into something, and, and it's just taking over. It's stressing you out, and you're not sleeping. You're, you have a lot of anxiety around it. Um, eternal dance, movement, wheel of life, path of re least resistance. You need to start taking that path of, re of least resistance and movement and wheel of life. You need to understand that there's a lot of things that just happen in our life that are out of our control and it's time for you to stay grounded, grounded meditate, and think about what you need. Right, so, just, so work your light oracle cards. Love these see what comes through here so inner temple devotion tune into the portal of your heart what do you need right now what are you avoiding of looking within and and what is what is really stressing you out because right now you need to devote time to yourself you need to devote time to tuning into the portal of your heart you could be so focused on maybe things with your head right now like things are just really driving you crazy but you really need to listen to your heart right now because your heart is trying to tell you something that there's something really off balance in the situation you're in it could be a friendship and like you love this person maybe you really really love this person but they are not serving you well right now messages from the mermaid our last message here taurus Okay, re-energize. That actually came up for Aries as well. So re-energize. Re-energize is time to look within. It's time to ground yourself. It is time to. It's time to 
refocus on yourself and not so much about what's going on out there. I know it's really hard right now. There's a lot of stuff going on in our society, in our world, but it's time for you to focus on you, go into your inner temple and meditate. And, and this situation, this fight, this competition, this rivalry, and these ugly thoughts right now, they're taking over that part of you, that part, that lovely part, because you know how to manifest, you know how to recharge, you know how to do all this stuff, but you're not doing it at this moment. So it is time. All right. Thank you, Taurus. Thank you so much for following along. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thank you. All right, Gemini, here is your urgent messages from your spirit guides. Okay, the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles represents kind of feeling like victimized or worry, guilt, doubt. Uh, it could also indicate being controlled by money because there is like it is a Pentacles card. So Pentacles could indicate like finances, security with money, and you could fe be feeling a little down about maybe how much money you're making or maybe you're making too much and you feel like it's overwhelming you you know more money more problems sometimes so there is some guilt around that and it could also just mean like there is a situation where you you're just not feeling good about and you feel like someone's maybe taking advantage of you or there's just some something that's just not working in your life right mm. See some urgent messages here okay so the eight of swords that's another uh, interesting card uh, feeling fenced in or feeling like self-sabotage you're going through a major trans transformation I believe right now Gemini I feel like there is something going on in your life where you just don't want to face the truth like the the eight of swords here is she's blinded and she's blocked in by all these swords it is the self-sabotage card. So you're, you're sabotaging yourself with something or you're staying in maybe a relationship or a situation, even a job, some situation that's just not working for you, but you just keep on staying in there because it's, it's like you're, you're scared to, to leave the position or you're scared to leave the situation because you don't know what's on the other side. You feel like there, and that's, and that's a scary like place to stay when you feel like you're trapped in a negative situation and you're worried about moving on into a more positive situation because you feel like it could just get worse but i feel like you're almost at the point right now where you, like, you can't get any worse it can only go up from here so let's see what the oracle cards say some urgent messages Zen garden, inner sanctuary. It is time to look within. It's time to really focus on what you want. What is the self-sabotage? Where is this coming from? These two cards are very alarming. So this Zen garden, this oracle is telling you, you need to, you need to spend time with yourself. You need to sp spend time focusing, maybe meditating on what you really want and where your life is going. I feel like you're, you're maybe fenced into a situation where you don't really, you can't really think because there's too much going on around you or there's someone really putting you down and putting you into a situation that you don't feel good about. So it's time for your inner sanctuary. So you, what you want and maybe take some time away. So take some time away, maybe from the person, the situation, the work, something you need to leave. You need to go away for a little bit. Okay. And here I have work your light. Those were the Gaia Oracle. This is the Work Your Light Oracle. Imarama. So this is the... So where are you being called to journey to? Imarama is a magical paradise uh, that you can go to. Like it, it's saying, but this could be inner. This is the inner, inner journey I feel like you need to go on. Or you need to maybe take a trip. You need to take a trip, Imarama, to somewhere that makes you feel good. Somewhere that you feel like your Zen garden. It's somewhere that you're able to focus and somewhere that you, like you could be close to like a body of water. It could be a mountain. It could be camping just by yourself. There could be a situation where you need to go and you need to do some really deep thinking. 
because you're, you're in a situation right now that is is not comfortable for you and it's just not working so you need to think of the next step you need to think of the next move you need to make that will make that will create a better atmosphere or a better all-around situation like that will create a better and more comfortable feeling around like what what's going on so Gemini there I really hope that you can listen to these messages these urgent messages from your spirit guides the Zen garden and Imarama uh, I hope I'm saying that right Imarama Imarama Im, Imarama anyways but this is like the it's like a lost magical paradise that you need to go find and, and I feel like the journeys within but I think you need to get away from the situation that you're currently in to find that inner beauty, that inner peace. Now let's see what the messages from the mermaids say. Another oracle. And maybe this can really help you with like the last message. Because if it's a, very similar to these last two messages, then I really feel like you need, to, you need to go somewhere for a little while and you need to be by yourself. relaxation I feel like yes you maybe haven't been relaxing maybe you've been working too hard maybe you feel really fenced in you feel really fenced in you feel like you're self-sabotaging yourself and you're really like, controlled by money right now maybe you've been just working really really hard and um, it is time maybe to spend a little bit of that money and go be by yourself for a little while don't be scared to do that because you need to really look within and, and feel the love that you can give yourself before you can outward love because right now I feel like there's a lot of off balance and Gemini sometimes have that because they have, you know, the twins, they're the twins, they, they have this dual personality where they can get inside the head of that really, like that twin that's like, oh, it's too much, it's too much and, and, and can't really focus and can't go anywhere but then you have the other twin that can, you no know, stay grounded so Gemini's de bounce around a lot from those those two different personalities and and I feel like right now it's your inner like your connection with your higher self is really calling to you right now you need to go relax you need to go find that inner paradise and get into that Zen garden all right that's all I have for you Gemini uh, so thank you for following along if you like this video give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel thank you all right cancer here we are wow there's a card that just jumped out right away <laughs> so i'm gonna i'm gonna read it so these are your urgent messages from your spirit guides so we have the death card now don't be alarmed by the death card death is very nice death is death can signify death but 99 percent of the time it means you're going through a huge transformation you're transforming into even like a different person maybe a different world a lot of changes have happened recently for you and you're really really looking at them and in a positive way like so the death means end of the old beginning of the new so it's a rebirth so there's something going on right now like that's a huge message that whatever you're doing right now the small changes that you're making or the big changes that you're making the transformation you're going through is such a good path for you right now and because especially because that card is upright So the two of pentacles, so you're juggling a lot right now. So there is a lot of balance. You're really feeling like you're, you're taking on maybe more than you would have in the past, but you're not feeling stressed about it because you know, it's the right path. You know that the death card, you're, you're, you're more in tune with what's going around on around you. So the universe like has it, has its plan for you. And the two of pentacles is there letting you know that what you're doing right now, Cancer, you're, the juggling that you're doing, the balance that you're creating in your life, it's really, really a right time for you. And you're, you're taking it all in because and, and you, you want these things to work for you in your life. And therefore, you need to look at your inner balance and outwardly balance everything in your life. Okay, these are the Gaia Oracle. Uh, some more messages from your spirit guides. 
So moonlight, travel, romance, and potential. Oh, so there is some romance there. So the moonlight, I feel like the you especially cancers are very attracted to water water sign and the moon so moonlight travel the so of course we can't travel outside of our country right now we have we still have you know the travel bans and the and the social distancing but travel within your country and travel to like bodies of water right now bodies of water are really important for you cancer and it's balancing it's helping you balance it's helping you juggle everything and the transformation, like water, there's constant transformation in water, which is absolutely amazing. And so, and the romance, I feel like there's some romance, there's some messages coming through right now that focusing on those romantic relationships are really, really important for you. And, and uh, potential, there's a lot of potential here for some really amazing relationships. So it is a, is a really good time for you right now. The urgent messages that are coming right now it's a really good time for you to, you know, if you're not in a relationship to seek a partner or to maybe, you know, consider dating someone that you have been thinking about recently or the relationship you're in, building that relationship, the strength. There's so much potential in this relationship. <clears throat> All right, so messages from Work Your Light Oracle. Okay, so don't dim your light to fit in. How are you dimming your light to fit in? I feel like you, it was very positive over here, but there's something going on here where maybe what's jumping out right now in, in the urgent messages from the spirit guides is that you could be dimming your light a little bit, especially with the moonlight here, like it's not a, a sunlight. Sometimes we want to hide who we really are in relationships, friendships, family, because we're worried about losing people. And I feel like sometimes, Cancer, you dim your light to fit in and you want to go, you want to people please, people pleasers. Oh, Cancers are such people pleasers. They want to adapt to make sure that they're making everybody feel good, but you need to make sure that you feel good as well. And I feel like you are, like you're, you're really working on balancing all that. And you're going through a major transformation right now and understanding your unique qualities. But sometimes what you do to really hide those qualities about yourself and and the world wants to see all of you. They want to see you exposed. And sometimes it's hard for cancers. I know. I have lots of cancer friends. <laughs> but I feel like don't dim your light to fit in is a big message there. Just just expose who you are and, and show the world that how lovely you really are and how real you are cancers are very very real so here we have messages from the mermaid oh i just had a jumping card here so this jumping card so go with the flow now i feel like the balance the transformation going with the flow don't dim your light to fit in moonlight romance so and the potential and the travel, like there, those are all things that like just go with the flow. Just let things happen naturally. No forcing anything. You're really staying level-headed with the Two of Pentacles there. The Two of Pentacles is showing you that you're 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 staying balanced. You're balancing everything, and not dimming your light to fit in. Letting people, you know, know these little parts of you that are absolutely amazing. At the same time of going with the flow. Like just, it's okay. You don't have to force things. You don't have to try and control things. Sometimes cancers can get into that, that bad habit of trying to control everything. So this message from the mermaid is saying, go with the flow. Urgent messages from your spirit guides. All right. Thank you, cancer. I really hope you liked this reading. If you did, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thank you. All right. Here we have Leo, your urgent messages from your spirit guides. So let's see what messages are coming through for you, Leo. Oh. Okay, so judgment. That was a jumping card there. So judgment. S letting go of past limitations that just don't serve you anymore. So it's time to move on. Liberate yourself. You're liberating yourself free of maybe old ways of thinking there there was old ways of thinking that just didn't weren't weren't working for you and it's great because you're in a really big transformation stage right now leo okay 
Okay, I want to get a message here from your spirit, guys. Okay, the hermit. I feel like it's, it's time to be alone. So it's time to look within, be by yourself to really focus on what you want, what, what, what are your true desires, and, and letting go of those old patterns that you maybe, and, and Leo sometimes have a hard time being by themselves because they love people admiring them. Admiration from other people is really, Leo's just, they sometimes seek that and they really want to be noticed and being taken care of. They like, you know, they're the lion. They like their, their mane being petted. So the hermit, it's, you could be in a situation right now. I feel like there's an urgent message coming through saying that you, you need, you need time to yourself to really think about a certain situation and letting go of, of things that maybe you did in the past because it could be just not working and maybe like a relationship or a work situation even with family members so there's something that you really need to let go of and I just want some more messages here and it could be like letting go too of this feeling that like it's all about you when especially when you're in relationships you know you need to realize that it's not just about you anymore that the person that you're with you know you have to think about them as well put your putting yourself in other people's shoes and when you hermit when you think about this like when you go within and you think about things you've learned over the years and you could be young re doing this reading as well so de but developing those skills early on too to being able to sympathize with people, being able to to look within and understand maybe the feelings that you have, other people have them as well. Or you could be in a really good position or feeling in your life, but understanding that not everybody is the same. Not everybody, nobody is the same. Everyone's unique in their own way and, exp and the way they express themselves. And understanding that, just having a better understanding of that. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go on to my oracle cards here. My Gaia Oracle. Okay. So, Sacred Earth Mother. A message of love. Now, I have a feeling here it has something to do with a relationship. I feel like there's a message coming through about a relationship that understanding where they're coming from. It's really important for you to maybe take a step back and to maybe stop the habits that you, you, you have done in the past of Maybe there could be like even being controlling, being not not sympathizing with the other person, not being able to listen, not being able to hear them. And this is this is you want like there's messages from your spirit guides of you wanting to understand why you maybe you do things a little bit better. And the hermit's all about like meditation, listening to yourself, listening to why, why you might do that. And Sacred Mother Earth, a message of love. It's saying that like Leo's love, Leo's know how to love so much. They get, they have so much to give, but sometimes they give a little bit too much to themselves before they outward pour. <laughs> so there's a message there that, that you're learning, you're, you're learning and you're growing and you're, you're learning in the relationships that you have, the friendships that you have and the relationships you have with your family. Okay. So we have work your light Oracle see what message is saying okay what message there is here get grounded empaths highly sensitive connect with nature now leos aren't they're not the water sign they're fire i believe yeah they're fire and so leo is a fire sign so get grounded so what i want to say with that is because you are very fiery in nature you have deep emotions and you're deeply sensitive but to get grounded and to really, you know, focus on like the hermit here and getting grounded, like focusing on looking within and understanding a little more about what, how the universe works and how human nature works is really, really important for you right now. Those are urgent messages for you. So connect back with nature and like look around. Sometimes uh, Leo's also like to look at like materialistic situations that like they don't really connect with nature as much as say like a, a water sign would or even earth signs but that is something that the message here is trying to tell you that you need to get grounded 
look within, let go of some past limitations that you had, and, and a message of love is coming through. So here we have messages from the mermaid. Okay, so trust, trust the process. Trusting, you know, I feel like you're in a relationship right now and you really do trust this person, but maybe you don't trust their emotions and you have to learn maybe some, I feel like this, there's a message, like an urgent message telling you that you need to trust your own emotions as well. You need to trust what your feelings and I feel like that right now is a big message that you need to really focus on why you feel like maybe you can't trust or that you're having trust issues, or there is a feeling of feeling of not being able to trust other people's emotions. And that's where it's very important for you to be able to put yourself in other people's shoes. All right, that's all I have for you, Leo. Thank you very much for following along. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thank you. All right, Virgo, let's see your urgent messages from your spirit guides. Go, Virgo. Queen of Cups. Oh, that's a very nice card to have. So Queen of Cups is a very like passionate, loving, caring, beautiful woman, but you doesn't always signify with a woman. It can it can um sort of resonate with a male as well. So we're very gender fluid here, but it just means being in touch with that uh, compassionate, loving feminine side and nurturing so it's a very nurturing card i feel like there's a, a message here that you need to nurture you are also needing to be compassionate towards yourself as well so like self-love so you can see on the on the picture here that she's looking into a cup so she's looking at her reflection and wanting to take in all the love from that she feels towards herself and maybe now put it into a relationship it's like you're ready you're like ready for this beautiful commitment so that's a message right now coming through for me that you're ready for this the, the commitment that you're looking for or that you found uh, that it's it's working it's it's working or if you are thinking about maybe going into a next step in a relationship like marriage buying a home or moving in it's it's the right time so the queen of cups is letting you know that you have that strength and this is the card that's coming out to me oh the hierophant well the hierophant is all about like traditional values um, teachings even like spirituality it could also indicate like it does it does have a connection to religion but here i feel like it's teaching you about a lesson of like morals and tradition and and like again tradition like when when i hear tradition i feel like there could be a marriage there could be some kind of union here that's really special and it's like you're thinking of taking the next step and the message i'm urgent message i'm getting from the spirit guides right now is that it's the right time for you to take this next step and if say you are on like the search for a relationship or a companionship it's the right time to put yourself out there because you're at your strongest you're at your fullest you're you're just feeling really good about life and your spirituality you're really connected with uh nature maybe you're really connected with like maybe your your guidance you, you feel guided right now and you're really connected with with learning teaching and maybe you could be working on a way of of teaching and helping people become the best people that they can be so like i feel like there's kind of some kind of life coach or spiritual leader guide or a spiritual guide here so i feel like that it's a right time for you because you feel like the most together or grounded or whole that you ever have and that's the thing is that i never like to say that we're complete because i know from myself i never want to feel complete because i always want to learn i want to grow i want to expand my knowledge so but this is a time where you feel like you've you've reached a point where maybe you have had like a spiritual awakening recently and it's really important for you to now bring this into the out, outward world and and maybe help guide other people to that spiritual awakening or just just spread some information about you know and some knowledge and skills that you used to get to that point okay now this is my Gaia Oracle deck so messages from the Oracle let's see what we have here 
<gasps> Ooh, perception beyond the veil of illusion. I feel like like you've lifted a veil. Like sometimes like you had your eyes closed in certain situations and now you're really opening your eyes up to the maybe the possibility of love, especially. And the throat chakra here. So, so it's 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 lit up because you're you're ready to communicate. You're ready to communicate what you want. You're ready to communicate with the universe about what you want. And then with the veil of illusion, with the third eye, I feel like that spiritual awakening, it's lit up right there. You're seeing more. You're seeing and understanding and feeling more than you ever have. You're very, very connected right now. And your spirit guides are letting you know that you are on a very, very good path right now. Okay, and here we have Work Your Light Oracle. Pillar of Light. Your vibration is rising. You are the Oracle. I love this. So Pillar of Light, it's like, yeah, I just feel like a huge awakening. You can even see in the photo here that she is having a spiritual awakening. So that's a really direct message there. Your vibration is rising. You are the Oracle. You are becoming the what you've always wanted to become like Virgo is just such a good time for you right now and Virgos have a really they can be really hard on themselves and Virgos I feel like they because they're perfectionists <laughs> they want everything to be and and they're very analytical they're very, very like detailed and they want everything to just you know work in their favor all the time and there's sometimes that it doesn't happen but if, so I feel like you've you've built a lot of strength from that from understanding that it, you know, you have to work at things sometimes and sometimes the work will that you do for yourself, like spiritually or in any kind of faith, like any kind of religion, any kind of faith that you have will bring amazing things your way because you're thinking positive, you're aligning yourself with your higher self. There's just the queen of cups. You're just, you're looking at yourself with self-love and you're you're beginning to be aware more aware of what the universe has planned for us here we have messages from the mermaids oracle oh that's the one that jumped out so breaking free from any feelings that you've had that you've been attached to in the past you're breaking free from it you're you're awake you're you're a, you, you feel like you've had this major spiritual awakening and you you're breaking free from any attachments that you've had in the past that have held you back all right that's all i have for you virgo thank you so much for following along if you like this uh, video give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel Okay, so here we have Libra, what your urgent messages from your spirit guides are. All right, let's see what we have, an urgent message from your spirit guide. So the King of Pentacles, amazing. So you're in a very financially stable position right now or you want to stay there. You're really thinking about finances and the King of Pentacles is all about you know, protecting finances, being a business leader. There could be like some kind of business situation that you're in right now and you're protecting your assets. You're making sure that you're secure and you're securing that. Like you're, you're just, your finances are, I think are on the mind right now for you. And it's an urgent message of like protecting those assets and, and especially, and also if you're thinking of maybe starting a business or there's like some kind of business idea that you have right now, right now is the time and making sure that it's, a business that is like going to thrive right now especially with the crazy things that are going on in our world right now there is it is a good time to start a business in certain things so financial advising there it could be a message that too that you need to see a financial advisor maybe you do have some assets that you want to protect or that you want to maybe invest so that's 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 a message there that both the finances let me see if anything else comes through here with an urgent message if another pentacle cards comes up it's just going to be focused i feel like on money nine of cups okay so with a nine of cups this cups sometimes signify like relationships, love and sensitivity. But here what the nine of cups represents is like luck, like wishful thinking, you getting what you want. And I feel like right now you feel very abundant and like you, you've strived for that kind of success in your life. And you've, you've really been putting your mind to creating that balance, creating the balance of like love, money, work, uh, home life, everything. And you're at a really good moment right now. Like you're, you're at a really 
successful period in your life and the abundance and, and the way you're manifesting, keep on that track because what you're wish, wishing for right now will be coming true. So making sure you're putting the right messages out into the universe. And if you are feeling like you're, you're maybe not like resonating with that Libra and you feel like a little bit negative because Libras have this habit because they are the scales of me, me, me. It's very hard to stay balanced for them. Then this is coming for you. They're urgent messages. So look for the signs, look for the signs of abundance, something to do with your finances. Now the King of Pentacles is all about securing those finances and making sure that you're well taken care of like yourself. But look for look for opportunities there. Now, and this wishful thinking, Nine of Cups, and you could be thinking of someone in your life that you've been wanting to ask out, or maybe you're already in the relationship. It's a, like making the relationship grow, even spoiling your loved one right now. That could be something that the Nine of Cups is telling you, that like if you feel very grateful and like you feel like you've accomplished and... and been able to strive for everything around you is just working out the nine of cups there is telling you that that it is time to either ask out that person or if you're already in a relationship that it is time to really feel show that person the gratitude you feel towards them okay and let's see some messages from oracle so this is the gaia oracle here Okay, let's look at some um, more messages from your spirit guides, urgent messages. So I'm feeling like there was some kind of loss, sadness, grief, uh, so resurrection. Like it's almost like you right now, like you could have, you could feel like you've maybe had a really hard time recently and you're like moving away from that. Like there may have been a big loss in your life and the loss has brought you, it brought you down into like a position of oh, just feeling terrible. You could have lost a loved one, you could have lost a job, you could have lost a friend, uh, or like a friendship just ending or a breakup. And now you've gotten to a time, or like a, a message, like the message is coming through from your tarot. It's time you're, you're just really thinking like you're manifesting better you're in a better state and i'm really interested to see because they're very conflicting because i feel like you came from like some sadness recently but now your most recent present is like you're you're feeling more fulfilled and you're feeling like everything that you're trying to manifest right now is really working for you because you did come from a part uh, from a time of your understanding loss and, uh, and grief and then like, you did the work to get through that and you learned a lot about yourself in the process. So I want to see what Work Your Light, my Work Your Light Oracle says for you Libra. So take a break. Life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. I feel like, okay, now that's making a lot more sense here. So the, the King of Pentacles, when it says like when you're thinking about your finances and you feel very successful and and you're thinking like as a business leader and then you have wishful thinking here but like at the same time you're worried about taking a break you're worried about being off the treadmill because you're worried about you know what if I lose though those that financial gain you know because you may have recently gained financially or you have maybe recently got out of debt and you feel like it's like now you're terrified because you were at a point at one point where you you lost a lot so it's time to take a break maybe even like you're maybe in the investments and you're in the stock market right now and the stock market is like oof, like crazy right now so it's time maybe to take a break from it and maybe that i think that that could be that sorry that is the message coming from your spirit guide is that to take a break from things that you feel kind of controlled a little bit by and focus maybe on some on the relationships right now Okay, messages from the mermaid. There's a lot of like interesting cards coming out here. I felt like it started on a very positive note, but the oracle is trying to tell you something. And this is interesting. So be spontaneous. I feel like you don't maybe take enough spontaneous opportunities because you were so focused in the 
not in the past, I want because I want to say that's the present. You were so focused on the King of Pentacles, on securing your future, making sure everything was good, but now it's time to take a break, be spontaneous, do something that makes you feel good, because you, I think maybe because there was something here that you lost, and it is okay to grieve right now, because you need to grieve. You, not, you don't need to think so much about the future right at this moment. It's a time to think about you in the now and what you need right now. All right. Thank you very much, Libra. Thank you for following along. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, Scorpio, what do we have here for your urgent messages from your spirit guides? Okay, the tower. Now, the tower is all about chaos <laughs> and destruction, but sudden change. So something is going to change for you. It's an urgent message that sudden change is coming. Oh, there's one sticking out there. Okay, the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is there to tell you that you're going to learn a lot of lessons from this change. There's going to be uh, a lesson in there. Now, the Hierophant is about higher learning Possibly even could be be religion, but it could also be like linked to spirituality, spirituality, religion, but some kind of higher teaching, like higher learning. And you're going to learn a lot from something that's going to happen like suddenly. There's going to be a big sudden, there's going to be a big sudden change for, for Scorpios. And Scorpios are all about transformation. Scorpio means transformation. So what's happening there i feel like the transformation that's going to happen it's going to be a good one and you're going to learn a lot of lessons you're going to learn some great lessons the hierophant is there to tell you that you you you're ready to learn these lessons you're ready to understand a lot more about why you do the things you do and why things might happen to you in certain ways okay and i have here the oracle gaia oracle oh Whoa. <laughs> okay, Enchanted Forest, Mystery, Magic, and Excitement. So there's something exciting going on. It's a sudden change, but like maybe it started off chaotic and it didn't feel good. But now, because of this change and with the Hierophant t like saying that you are looked after and that the what you're doing right now is something that you really are feeling guided towards, and the Enchanted Forest could indicate, too, that spending more time in nature is really important for you, Scorpio. And the mystery, magic, and excitement. Getting excited about something. So this sudden change is, is very positive. It's something positive that's going to happen. But it didn't come from something that felt very positive. Well, like maybe well the process. We're building up to the process. Okay, and then we have Work Your Light, Oracle. Okay. So take a break. A uh, life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. Okay. So I feel like you really need to spend a lot of time in nature. It's taking a break, taking a time in nature, and going camping. Even I know it's getting cold uh, for certain people. So depending where you are in the world, uh, I'm located in Canada, and of course it's it's pretty cold where I'm living. So, but taking a break, getting into nature. And taking some time for yourself for these these massive changes that are coming and so this is like really really important for you to spend time reconnecting with the earth and understanding how important and how connected we are with mother earth and it's time for you to take a break it feels like you've been maybe on that treadmill and you're like just working so hard towards something but it, and, and you are learning a lot, but maybe you've absorbed too much recently and it's time for you to just slow down a little bit. Okay, messages from the Mermaids Oracle. So contemplation, so con contemplating something, you know, where your life is going, where the direction is going, you know, some decisions you've made recently, if they were the right decisions. I think it's time to really spend some time in nature when you're meditating, because I, I feel like you're going to feel really connected there. And with these sudden changes, you're really going to have to take some time, some time out to, to really reflect on some of the decisions you've made and the paths that you've taken. All right, thank you, Scorpio. That is your 
messages from your spirit guides, your urgent messages. So I really hope that you uh, resonated with that reading. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's see what your urgent messages from your spirit guide are. Wow. Okay. That popped out right away. Okay. So the world. Now the world is all about feeling complete and feeling like things are just happening for you that you're like, wow, like how did this even happen? Why do I feel like I'm on top of the world? It's you're just manifesting properly. Like the spirit guides are telling you their urgent messages that you are on the right path. What is going on for you right now is your completeness, your feeling of completeness. It's like you could probably right now with the world, what I'm seeing or sorry, what I'm feeling from the messages is that you have the job that you want. You have the the partner maybe that you want your family's great you're living in a spot that you want like everything's kind of coming together but it took some time to and covid could have been you know the lockdown and it, it could have been a really good time for you to look at where you really want to be sagittarius are naturally pretty social and outgoing and they love to travel and they love to go to parties but this maybe was a time for you to look within and to really look at the things that you want and when you maybe were traveling in the past or like you had to go out and you were kind of hiding from certain aspects of yourself that you just didn't like and now you're looking within and nurturing the, that part of you because you shouldn't not like it because it's it's who you are so anyways that's that's just a part of like where i feel like the world is coming in for you that you feel like maybe things are st or, or maybe things have been kind of like not not feeling super complete lately and it's going to there's urgent messages that you're going into this this completed phase of your life but you're never i feel like no one's ever really complete we're always learning we're always growing we're always evolving but it, it the world is just it, it's telling you that you're in a very successful time in your life okay let's see what other messages come through here the Fool. Don't worry, The Fool is not a bad card. The Fool is all about like a childlike enthusiasm about life, feeling like you're just inspired to like adventure. And that's the interesting thing, like how I was saying with, with uh, Sagittarius is they like to adventure. They're very social creatures. They like to travel. But traveling within maybe your own country and doing little trips instead of like massive trips where you like go into a completely new environment. And it's, it's time to like think of that like playful side of you instead of being hard on yourself. Because Sagittarius, Sagittarians can be very hard on themselves. So it's it's time to look within at that, that childlike enthusiasm that you naturally have. That's a message that's coming through from, uh, from Spirit. Okay, let's do a message from Oracle. This is the Gaia Oracle. Eternal love, happiness, harmony, and fulfillment. I feel like you might be in love, <laughs> Sagittarius, or Sagittarians are are really on the hunt for like the perfect love. And again, there is no perfect love. But if you're feeling really connected with the person you are with right now, it it just feels like it's the right timing for timing for Sagittarians to connect with someone on like an emotional deep. Uh, love level like it's 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 your you feel fulfilled right now like there's a lot of fulfillment there's a lot of feeling like everything is coming together and maybe love was that puzzle puzzle piece that really felt like it was missing for a long time all right work your light oracle here messages from spirit akasha i want to see hopefully i'm pronouncing that right Akasha. Okay, Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. So your messages coming through from your guides, you are divinely guided. So the the guide, so your guidance is divinely guided. So your spirit guides are always with you. And they're with you especially like a lot right now because I feel like you Sagittarians are really, really feeling fulfilled right now. They feel like Things are coming together for them and the, the spirit guides are watching over them, enjoying watching the process. 
So your spirit guides are with you there. And if you need anything, just, just ask for them because they're, they're, they're really, they're really enjoying watching everything that's unfolding for you or coming together for you. Messages from the mermaids. All right. And there has been some letting go. So you've had to let go of some stuff, maybe the travel, for example, because Sagittarius are so outgoing and they've had to let go of the fact that they can't go to another country or they can't go to that party. So letting go of some stuff that maybe you did because you were hiding from some certain aspects of yourself. And I just, I feel like it's a really good time for you right now in Sagittarius. It's, uh, it's like this, this time for Sagittarians is just, there's, there's a lot of great positive messages coming, urgent messages. All right, thank you, Sagittarius, uh, urgent messages. Thank you for following along. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, here we have a Capricorn to see what your urgent messages from your spirit guides are. Okay, the devil. <laughs> so Capricorn, you're dancing with the devil right now. It's interesting. Uh, the devil is not always a negative card, but sometimes it can be. It can be, mean that you're, you have like an obsession or you're holding on to something that is just like not good for you. Oppression, like there could be feelings of like jealousy, envy, hate. So the devil there is just to remind you that like sometimes our, there's human motives that are ugly. And if you're identifying with any of those that you need to be just careful about it. But it could also mean there could be lust like in your life. And like lust, I don't think is a bad thing. Like being passionate and being lust, like lusting for someone that's, that's, that's good. Like, and even infatuation, it could, it could indicate infatuation. And the devil there is just like, it's letting you know to be kind of playful right now too, not be so serious, but also like if you're taking on too much of the seriousness of that card, like the obsession and the, the greed, there could be greed and, and like, feeling envious of other people like that's not that's what the side of the devil that's not very nice okay let's see what other cards come up here okay so the two of pentacles so the two of pentacles there is showing you that you need to balance this so what i was just talking about like there's two sides to the devil i feel like there's the bad sides like the greed the um obsession and uh, feeling envious of other people and then there's the side that is like lust and and being playful and and not being so serious and so it's just telling you to balance those two that you need to find some balance capricorn okay and messages from the oracle from the gaia healing reconnecting with your true nature so there's i feel like you've been thrown off balance maybe with the two of pentacles you're trying to regain that balance so there's some kind of healing process that you need to go through right now and i feel like when the devil comes up with a healing card, I feel like there's parts of you that you just don't, you don't like, that you're feeling like you're like, oh, why do I feel like this? Or why am I like this? Like, why do I choose this when I should be choosing this? So it's just healing needs to be happening right now. So you need to heal something. There needs to be something and you need to re reconnect with who you really are and what you really want. And maybe you went off track with uh, some things. Maybe you went off track with a certain situation and now it's time to heal and bring yourself back to who you really are okay so work your light i feel like there could have been a breakup i'm sorry i just gotta best that uh there could have been a breakup here and you're healing from that or it could have been like a friendship like letting go or or maybe not speaking to a family member okay so the crumbling what are you clinging on to again that's another thing i could be you could be you could be clinging on to a past relationship and it could be something that really attached you. It could be even a job too that you f feel very attached to. And maybe some, a couple things have happened to you or you lost your job and you don't know where to go because you're clinging on to things that you're just like, why, why is this happening to me? Why does everything, it kind of, it's maybe happening all at once. 
too. So your spirit guides are there to tell you urgently that you are being taken care of. That sometimes things have to happen to you to open up other doors. So there's something bigger that's going to happen for you. There's. Let me see if this can clarify anything. The message is from Mermaid. So positivity. I think, I know this is a very direct, very simple message. And it's so much easier to say stay positive than actually practicing it. Like, you know, uh, practicing positivity can be very hard. You know, you can say, oh, I'm very positive. I think positive. I talk positive all the time. But it's what you're truly feeling. And that's what you really need to connect with. That's what you really need to heal. You really need to heal what you're truly feeling. Maintain balance. Try to understand the different... Look, look up the devil too. Um, like the devil, the card, like the tarot card. Because it can really show you the different aspects of the devil. Of balancing it. Because it's not, it's not always a bad thing to um, resonate with the devil. But maintaining positivity. And what you're clinging on to. I feel like you could be clinging on to... Like you're in a negative state right now. I feel 100%. This urgent message is coming through. There's been some crappy things that have happened to you. And right now, you know, your your spirit guides are trying to <laughs> help you maintain positivity or bring positivity into your life. That's all I have for you, Capricorn. Thank you so much for following along. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thank you. All right, Aquarius. So messages from your spirit guides. Urgent messages. There we go. Okay, this one's popping out. So the magician. So the magician is all about intuition, using your self-control, your like hidden powers, like your hidden secret desires. So really focusing on your, your intuition and what you really want here. So there's a message coming through from urgently saying what you're manifesting right now and what you're feeling and what, what you're thinking about right at this moment. This is what you need to nurture and cultivate and and bring out into the world because this is something that you makes you really happy. So there's something here, Aquarius, that you're really trying to nurture. And I want to kind of get another message here to maybe get it pinpointed. So the King of Swords. So the King of Swords, it's all about logic, facts, and, you know, messages so there's a message here a message of fact and logic and and even working on your finances I feel like there could be something here like he's writing in a book he's writing his finances the king of swords is very like a financial advisor he's very good with his finances so there's something here that you there's something here that you are wanting to nurture and I believe I, I want to say it's your finance finances here and the magician is there to like you know provide magic in helping you guide you to abundance and prosperity and let me get some messages from the oracle here urgent messages kind of connect those two cards so gaia so this is the mother earth she's the she's earth mother wisdom knowledge spiritual understanding so I feel like you have a lot of like understanding like for facts and logic but there's like some spirituality questions that you might have that it's like you understand and know that spirituality has a lot of truth to it but you have a hard time really basing anything off of it so wisdom and knowledge based on the spirituality i think you have some questions and you're maybe trying to figure some some more stuff out about yourself aquarius and you have maybe thought about spirituality but you've never really wanted to dive in there because you are a very fact driven person and you're good with like you're good with numbers good with finances and most Aquariuses are but they're also very social people they understand a lot about human nature but they a lot of the times they keep that within they keep it deep they don't they don't really want to express how much they really can pick up on other people like a, an Aquarius would be a really good psychologist because they just, I feel like they just know so much about human nature. Okay, messages. Um, 
Oh, sorry. Work your light. So this is a, a message from Work Your Light Oracle. So Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? So that's why I'm feeling like some some teachings like there's things that you want to know and and there's things that you want to and that's the, the it just it's as simple as picking up a book about spirituality. I feel like that's a, a very urgent message from your spirit guide. Spirituality is something that you really want to know more. You're very fascinated by it, but there you know you're king of swords there comes in and like you're fact driven so you're like no 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 i don't believe it but your magician there inside of you the intuition is telling you that there's something more here there's something more that the universe is trying to tell you and there's a side of you that you need to mother yourself you need to understand that there's a part of you that needs nurturing i'm gonna leave it at that okay so messages from the mermaid but, oh, oh, okay, there's three there, so I'm going to read all three. Support. So maybe you need to look for some support during this process of, of spirituality and, and, and connecting with your higher self and, like, looking within and to, like, see what, what kind of guidance that you need. Support from your spirit guides. Trust. Trust your spirit guides. Trust, trust that they have a divine plan for you. And look at the light. Look at the light around around things. Look at look at be the beautiful things that come from light coming in. So this this message here, like I feel like you you just want like more answers, especially about yourself, spirituality, and it's okay to be left brain, right brain, you know, with the logic side and the emotional side, but. It's okay to explore both sides. It's okay because if that's what you want, and I really feel like this is something you're craving. You're trying to open up something and you're trying to nurture a part of you. A part of you that you, you might not even... A part of you that might even scare you. Okay. All right. Thank you, Aquarius. That is your urgent messages from your spirit guides. Thank you for following along. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. All right, Pisces, here we have your urgent messages from your spirit guides. Wow, two cards just jumped out right away. I think I'm going to grab those. <laughs> okay, so the Knight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Very, very conflicting cards because the Knight of Wands is all about like rushing ahead, like extreme energy, like, no, I got this. Like they can be, they can be very impatient. Like they want things to just get done and go. But the Page of Pentacles is all about practical thinking and maybe even possibility of starting a new career. So that's, that's a, that's a message coming through from your urgent message coming through your from your spirit guides and it could mean that like it's time to move on start a new career and practice but being practical about your finances because page of pentacles is the financial card and it's about looking at your finances not spending frivolously and making sure that you you protect your assets but why all the while being a little more adventurous if you feel stuck right now so two cards there okay so seven of wands I feel like there's a battle like some kind of pointless battle that you fight it's like you 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 remain stuck you feel like you you can't get through like the other wands that you see the wands at the bottom of the cards like you can't get through so you 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 remain in this stuck position and you you don't want to move forward you don't want to go forward because you feel like you can't but there let me draw some more oracle cards here because your your spirit guides are trying to tell you that well especially pisces are there's dreamers they they love to dream and there's something going on here where you love to think practically but you also love to like adventure do and go go and move forward and then seven of wands just like the way that the seven of wands comes up like that it's 
it's just like you're 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 not moving forward like a normal Pisces would. Like Pisces are dreamers. They they go for things, but there's something, and it could be the money, it could be the finances that are keeping you stuck. So Gaia, wisdom, knowledge, and spiritual understanding. So understanding that there, you got to use your wisdom based on, or your knowledge based on like the wisdom that you have gained over the years so there's something here that you need to put forward into your present or your future that will help you and there's some spiritual understanding here there's some maybe some spiritual rituals that you need to perform for yourself or maybe you need to go through some spiritual awakenings to really understand what is keeping you stuck what is keeping you stuck there like there there ha there is something that you're just you're staying in this position and you don't want to be there anymore. And a spiritual awakening, I think, is, is necessary. And right now, and for Pisces, I feel like you're very sensitive. You're very emotional. You're very aware. You you tend, though, to live in, in a dream world where you don't, want to, um, you don't want to face the facts and face reality. And that's why I feel like some spiritual work could work for you because you do accept spirituality. Okay, so this is my work your light oracle. Oh. Okay, trust the niggle. What is that niggling feeling trying to tell you? So some kind of feeling that you just like, something's not working here. So you really need to trust the niggle. You need to trust that feeling of like, what? okay, what is it? What is that message? What do I need to do? I feel like you're an artist. Like you have a lot of, you have a lot of creative skills. But you don't put them forward because you're so, you're scared. It's like you're worried about what's going to happen if you do. And I feel like good things could happen. Here, let's do one more message here from the mermaids. You're very, very highly skilled, but you really, you don't have the confidence sometimes. It's, it's very, very insecure at times. And there's something you need to turn away from. There's something that you need to let go of. You need to turn away. And it could have some of you seven of wands here. You feel trapped. You need to just go the other way then. You maybe need to look in the past of things that really worked for you. And something that really made you feel good. All right. That's all I have for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for following along. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel.